Ryan here with Dark Rangers Inc. And oh no, we got a brand new update from PixInsight. Is it gonna be a pain in the neck? Is it super easy? Should I install it or should I wait for other people to test it out? Well, I just did it. It couldn't be easier. So I'm gonna walk you through it. I'm actually gonna uninstall the version I just did and reinstall it to show you how easy it was. So if you're like me, you probably are worried, is there gonna be bugs? Is it gonna lose all of the scripts and the plugins that I have? And I'm happy to say that it's actually pretty easy to do. So um, I'm a Mac user, so I can't show you both, but I'm gonna go into folder applications and find the PixInsight folder for Windows, just find where you have it installed and just go ahead and throw it in the trash. Now, I didn't actually have to empty the trash um, in order for the new one to install, so maybe you could save it in there if you wanna do it like I do. And then I went into the PixInsight and then downloads software distribution. It's gonna ask for your password to make sure that you actually own this. You are going to go to the correct version, which for me is going to be Mac and the newest version. I'm gonna go ahead and download that. Then I'm gonna go into my download folder and there it is. I'm gonna open it up, hit continue, continue. Yes, I agree with the licenses. Install, I'm just gonna let it use its standard location. I'm gonna put in my password. It's gonna go ahead and install. And guys, I just wanted to do this really quick because uh, I know sometimes there can be trepidation anytime something new comes out. I was a little nervous. I was gonna wait and let other people test it out, but I said, no, Ryan, this is the point of the channel. Go out there, be a brave soldier, and uh, give it a go and let people know whether it's gonna be a nightmare or not. Um, so I was really happy to see that everything transferred over really easy, but there's a couple more steps that we'll go through as this is installing. Okay, so installation was successful. We're gonna close it. Um, yeah, we can move the installer to trash, open it up. I don't think I hit the right button. We're gonna open it up. All right, now as you can see, there's 15 updates. So I initially went in, I was like, oh no, none of my stuff is in there. No Blurex, no GHS. Uh, so all you're gonna do is go ahead and click that, hit apply. It's gonna download all those packages. Boom, boom, boom. It's successful. We're gonna close out of it. Yes, we wanna install. It's gonna open it back up and processes. Boom, blur exterminator, GHS, noise exterminator, star exterminator. We are all good. So guys, it's quick and painless. Get out there, get the new one. We'll check out the new features. Um, there's a couple new fast stacking features it looks like and a fast imaging one which is like lucky imaging but a little bit longer uh, that'll help negate some of the atmospheric effects that we have it's a more advanced version specifically for cmos cameras so we'll dig into that of course and we'll get that out to you as soon as we can but i uh, just wanted to give you guys a quick update right away so you didn't have to panic and can move on to the next uh, version of this awesome software that we all are using so till the next one clear skies